For practice it, self-check 4.14 playing card, meaning to write a piece of code that reads a shorthand text description of a playing card and prints out the longhand equivalent, just like our previous example with colors, except we also have a suit here. Our cards rank are from 2 through 10. We also have a jack, queen, king, or an ace, and these are the types of suits. We should expand this shorthand into the rank of suit and also assume that the user types in valid input. So first thing we need to note is that we are getting user input. This means we need to work with the scanner. We will have a scanner. We will call it input and set it equal to a new scanner where we are taking system dot in. Next, we are going to prompt the user to enter a card. So we're going to do system dot out dot print and in here we will write enter a card as a string. We need two scans, one to get the number and one to get the suit. So we will have a string and we will call it rank and we'll set this equal to scan dot next. That way we get the next value and then we will do string and we will call this suit and this will be equal to the scan dot next. That way, for the first time, we will get whatever one of these it is and store it in rank, and then we will get the next thing and we'll store it inside of our suit. Now we will need a bunch of else if statements. In here, it says because there are so many rank suit combinations, we will need several if else branches. However, we shouldn't have too many branches for each unique card because that's too many. We're not going to do that. We are just going to have a couple different else if branches. So the first thing that we're going to do here is make an if statement. And we are going to say if our rank, and we'll do dot equals. This is a string method where inside of here we have quotes and we are comparing it to something. So if rank dot equals, and first thing we'll have is two, then we are going to assign rank to be two. We're going to overwrite rank. So in here we're going to say rank is going to be equal to two. This should be in quotes since it is a string. After this, we are just going to have multiple else if statements for the rest of these. So we'll have else if rank dot equals three. We will have a three here, and we're going to do this for the rest of the numbers. After we have this for the rest of the numbers, changing all of these in here and also changing what it's dot equaling to, we are going to have to look at the jack, queen, king, or ace. This is basically the same thing where we'll have four more in here and we're going to do just if it equals to a J, a Q, so we'll have Jack, Queen, King, and Ace. And then we're just going to print these out as well. So we'll have Ace, a King, Queen, and lastly Jack right here. So rank is now going to store whatever this is. Now we need to look at the suit. Currently, it's equal to scan.next, which we'll just use this example. We'll say C right here. We have four different suits, so we're going to need else statements for these. Now we are going to need a if statement, and we're going to say if our suit dot equals, and in our dot equals, we're going to have our first suit, which is a C for clubs, and then we're just going to assign suit equal to the string clubs. After we do this, we are going to do the same thing, but for three others. So I'll have an else if two more times. So if suit dot equals, we have a D for diamonds, H for hearts, and then a S for spades. We will type these strings in, and now our suit is equal to whichever one of these it is. After we do this, we just want to print out what it is. So we are going to have a print statement down here where we do a system dot out dot print. We can make this a print line if we wanted to. And inside of here, we first want to print out the rank. So we're going to do rank. And then inside of here, we need to have a space of space and then the suit. So we are just going to append to here the suit. We have an error because I put scan.next in when we named our scanner input. So we need to change these to input so it matches our scanner. After we do this, we have passed all eight tests. So this is super, super long code. We were basically hard coding this for every single case. We need to make an else if statement for each of these different ranks. And then we are signing whatever this is, the shorthand answer into the rank, 
which would be the longhand answer. Same thing for the suits, and then we are just printing this out. So this is the code that will give us the proper answer to practice it self-check 4.14.